Yo, what is going on you guys? Bastion Wajo here and I actually have our two player starter set here. Now I've kind of taken about a week or so away from the game just because of course I've been moving and everything like that. But I really want to go ahead and open this set with you guys. Now honestly, with this set it's not going to be something that's going to be for all the highly competitive players right now or anything like that. Honestly, I just think it is a great, great set. Uh, great, great way to at least get any new players who just don't really know what the game is about who want to know more about the game who just show a little bit of interest this is the best thing you can go ahead and get for them it's 20 bucks get you two fantastic decks you can go ahead and use for yourself now i haven't seen any real big openings of this uh myself of course i know they're already on the channel but of course i still want to have it for our channel as well so you see 20 bucks right over here so what this does, it gets you two already predetermined decks, and you're not supposed to shuffle them. Uh, you basically comes with a set of instructions, right? So it's going to be more or less a scripted duel. And with that, you and uh, and a friend, <laughs> you and a friend can definitely go ahead and have a sit down and really just enjoy opening this together and really understanding how to play the game, which I think is great. It's really, really great for brand new players, of course, anyone who you want to teach the game, introduce the game to, obviously, of course, says stop, don't shuffle this deck, but of course, we're gonna go ahead and open them right up, exactly. So one come with comes with one of the best cards in the entire game right now, which is Divine Arsenal, Double A Zeus, Sky Thunder, which for any new players, this pretty much clears the entire board, sending everything on the field to the graveyard, which is just obviously, in any sense, really, really good. And then you have Manadium uh, Prime Heart, which of course, more like the Manadium strategy, more synchro based. So I think it's really, really cool. If you guys uh, have watched like the Zexel, uh, anime or the 5Ds anime is to look a little more familiar as far as the card arts are concerned with one being uh, the Dark Exes monsters and you have the Synchro monsters as well. Hopefully they will have some type of a uh, like a fusion based one so people who are more familiar with like the original anime might be able to go ahead and understand but here is the learn how to play so you guys can go ahead and take a chance to just give this a quick read, uh, whatever it might be. So it, it tells you one if you uh, is player X, the other is player Y, I'm assuming. And then pretty much tells you exactly what to do play by play and give you a quick breakdown of exactly what you guys should be doing and the reasons why, which is fantastic, honestly. So this should be your opening hand, so you can tells you more or less, you know, what to play. Uh, and it tells you a little bit about strategy as well, which again, I think is fantastic overall. Now, if you're brand new to the game, I would say don't worry too much about strategizing, understanding what cards are the best and things like that. Overall, I think if you're brand new at the game, this uh, I think the first step that you need to go ahead and take is just understand it, getting familiar with the cards themselves. There is a lot of writing on these cards. So, uh, first of all, guys, of course, you have the name of the card, the number of stars it has, or the rank. If it's an Xyz monster, which by the way, only the black cards have a rank, everything else is going to be a level. You have your attributes, your type, uh, type of monster it is, uh, type meaning the uh, category that the monster falls under, whether it's a machine card, uh, machine monster, fairy monster, you have also spell casters, you have also like fiends, uh, things like that. So that's the, the type of the card, right? And of course, if it's an effect monster, it'll have effect right here. So for extra deck monsters, which we do get uh, four, I believe, in each one of these uh, decks, they are also going to have some materials that are going to be required in order to go ahead and make it. So materials, just think of it like a recipe for your monster. So we're going to go ahead and open up the synchro based one first, so we can go ahead and get a little bit more familiar with it. So we have Manadium Prime Heart here, of course, so it's materials or it's recipe are going to be the first things written on there, so it takes one plus tuner and one light monster in order to make this. When it's capitalized like this, it's gonna be for attributes. So if you see right here, it says light. If it can focus, it says light right here. Uh, also it has a yellow little lighting on there. So then you know what attribute you need to go ahead and use to summon this guy out. And then you have rampaging smash tank uh, rhino saber, which is really, really cool uh, artwork right off the bat. Then we have, which is a fire uh, attribute and machine as well. 
Then we have Coral Dragon, a really good reprint as well, uh, which is a Dragon Synchro Water monster. It is also a tuner, so in order to make Synchro monsters, you need to have a tuner monster. Uh, think about it like you need to synchronize something, so you need to tune it. If you're a, uh, not a magician, a musician, uh, it should more or less make sense for you guys, so that's really, really cool as well. And then we have Stygian Sur C uh, Surgeons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you guys are new to the game as well, when it comes to reading in general, Yu-Gi-Oh players are not necessarily the best ones. So, and it's gonna be a fiend synchro effect monster, so that's gonna be nice, of course. So for the actual deck itself, now of course this is gonna be completely out of order. So if you guys are familiar with uh, how deck profiles work online, it's pretty much how the uh, the owner of the channel wants to go ahead and organize it. Of course, whether they want to do monsters first, spells, traps, things like that. But of course, it's going to be in order that the actual starter deck wants you to go ahead and pick up these cards. So they may not be in order per se, but let's go ahead and get familiar with them, right? So these little pink cards are trap cards, uh, primarily for the most part. There are, of course, some exceptions to all of these there. Uh, you have to go ahead and set it face down on your turn. And then during your opponent's turn, then you can actually activate the card. So a little bit slower in that aspect, but because they are normally trap cards are going to be some of the, have the most powerful effects in the game. So it is something you want to go ahead and keep in mind. So we have back to the front, which is a really, really good card to target one monster in your graveyard, special summon in defense position. Uh, we have Nadium Fearless, which again, a lot of text on this card. So guys, make sure you do read. And then you have Galaxy Cyclone, nice little reprint for us. We have Supply Squad, which is a continuous spell card. You can tell by the little infinity symbol right there. That means it's a, a, a continuous spell card. We have Phantom King, High Ride, or High Dried, <laughs> uh, which is a tuner monster. So we are going to need this in order to summon out the Synchro monster. So Synchro summoning, how that works is the, the levels need to match up. So if you have one level three tuner monster, I mean, you want to make uh, a, for example, a level six right, Coral Dragon, what you are gonna need to do is because it takes one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters, is you need to find uh, either three additional level one monsters, a level two and a level one monster, or just another level three monster to go ahead and make them in addition to having this card because you need one tuner and an assortment of non-tuners that whose levels total equal these. I hope I'm not make, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I've been told I'm not the best at explaining these type of things, but we got Liberty at last, uh, White Elephant's Gift, pretty cool. We have Power Frame, we have Dark Resonator, very nice. If you guys actually are interested in picking up a structure deck, which will have uh, not necessarily as much in depth when it comes to strategizing and how to play, but it'll give you a little bit more competitive viability and a deck that might be a little bit more cohesive and synergistic. So there's also the uh, Crimson Gaia, Crimson King structure deck, which is really good. Uh, so there you go, another tuner monster. Uh, we got Quibble Hedgehog, we got Card Trooper, very nice. Uh, Mobius, the Frost Monarch. We got Mage Power. This actually used to be a really powerful card back in the day where it's an equip spell card. You can see by it has the little cross there, crosshairs looking thing. So the equipped monster gains 500 attack and defense for each spell and trap you control, which can give your monsters a huge attack boost. Uh, we have the Ever Faithful Magic Cylinder, which you guys have seen the first Yu Gi Oh! anime. This is going to be a really, really iconic card. Uh, Mask of the Accursed, Kunai with Chain, again, another OG card. Dark Hole, a crazy good card, actually can destroy all monsters on the field, so that's nice. Mask of Darkness, Fissure, we got Barrier Resonator, okay, more Resonator monsters, which are going to be more Tuner monsters. Visa Starfrost, again, another Tuner. Uh, Obsessive Uvaloop, DD Crow, so this is uh, what we have dubbed in the uh, in the trading card game here in well in uh, in, well, in Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> if you will, a hand trap. So what is a hand trap? A hand trap is a card, a, usually in the shape of a monster. There are of course some exceptions when it comes to like uh, infinite impermanence. If you guys have not read that card, it's really of course very useful. But DD Crow is was considered a hand trap. So basically, what it is is a uh, a card that can activate its effect in the hand in response to something your opponent is doing usually, which can be extremely helpful, of course. Now, DD Crow, of course, says quick effect, which you can activate it at any point in time and as long as you're responding to something that your opponent's doing. 
Uh, you can discard this card to the graveyard and target one card in your opponent's graveyard and banish it, which can actually come up extremely, extremely big in a lot of tight spots. Uh, we got one time passcode, a warrior returning alive, card card D, a scapegoats. If you guys have not checked out the reincarnating trickstar, I uh, most recently used a scapegoat <laughs> in the deck. Storming mirror force, all mirror force cards are fantastic. Apprentice magician. Backup Rider, Swords of Revealing Light, there's a classic one for you. We got Ally of Justice, Clausulus, very cool, Machine Normal Monster. Uh, so you see how these other monsters have effect at the end of them. These are normal monsters, I mean they don't have an effect, they're primarily going to be used for their attack and defense values. Uh, Gilgarth, a very, very strong normal monster, 1800 attack and 1200 defense. Ojama Green. Ryuran, Launcher Spider, Spirit of the Harp, and Pachi, and Elemental Hero Sparkman, a very, very iconic card from the GX anime. If you guys have not checked it out, I would highly, highly recommend you guys go ahead and do so. It is definitely, definitely a fun watch. I want to say uh, GX was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, uh, Zexo was really fun. Uh, 5Ds I'm kind of okay on, personally, but that's just me. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it, they, it for the uh, the synchro-based one. Let's go ahead and check out the XYZ version. Yeah, the XYZ is what I, what I would lean a little bit more towards because of my uh, my preference and my, my play style. I do seem to prefer more XZ's monsters over synchro monsters. I think these are a little bit easier to summon. Realistically, when it comes to XZ's monsters, uh, which is fun because you actually have this as an exception, you need two monsters of the same level. For example, Divine Arsenal a, a Zeus Sky Thunder requires two level 12 monsters. Then you have Castell, the Sky Blaster Magish, uh, Musketeer, which takes two level four monsters. And all you gotta do is stack the cards on one on top of one another, and then you can go ahead and summon out your XYZ monster. We got Castell, we got number 20, hey, for any number hunters out there. So we got number 20, Giga Brilliant, which is a insect, Xyz Light, and takes two level three monsters in order to summon it. And then we have a very, another really, really strong XYZ monster as well in Digusto Emerald. Okay, now for our actual deck itself, we have Fierce Tiger Mongu, we have Magical Broker, Star Drawing, Night Beam, which is a really, really good card as well to in order to uh, destroy any set spells traps your opponent may control, so that's nice. A Traffic Control, Star Changer, which of course can increase and decrease the levels of your monsters, which is of course very useful. Gagaga -ga -ga Magician, which if you guys have seen, seen the Zexel uh, arc of the, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, then you'll definitely recognize this guy. Uh, we have Fighting Spirits, again another equip spell card. Burden of the Mighty, again another continuous spell card with the infinity. That means that it will always stay on the field until it is destroyed or it meets an additional uh, end. Beast King Barbaros. We have Swing of Memories, <laughs> really good, especially in Exodia-based strategies. Uh, Gyroid, very cool. Dark Factory of Mass Production. Uh, Gravity Axe Scroll, again, Equip Spell. We have Needle Sealing, which is going to be a really, really strong, of course, trap card on the field. If there are four or more monsters on the field, destroy all face up monsters. Very useful. Book of Moon, which is a phenomenal card. Actually, I don't think we've touched on this. When you see that little lightning bolt right there, that means that it is a quick effect. So that means that it can be activated during your turn or your opponent's turn if you set it. Now, do remember, if you are setting a quick effect monster, a quick effect spell card, if you set it that face down, that means you cannot activate it for the rest of that turn, and you have to then wait to the next turn in order to go ahead and activate it. Book of Moon is an extremely powerful spell card. It's actually seeing a lot of play currently as well because it flips opponent's monsters face down. And if they're face down, especially in an XYZ-based strategy, then they can't put them on top of one another in order to uh, perform an XYZ summon. So Book of Moon is extremely useful, as well as Mystical Space Typhoon, which of course can target any spell and trap on the field and destroy it for you. Uh, Penguin Soldier, a classic of course, very nice. Magician of Faith, really good as well. Chiron the Mage, very nice. We have Dark Magician Girl, very cool. I didn't actually, I actually didn't know we got Dark Magician Girl in here. That's really nice. I actually don't think I own a copy of Dark Magician Girl, so that's all right. First one. 
<laughs> XYZ Reborn, Crane Crane, Skill Successor. We have Elblitch the Golden Lord. I did not see that one coming. That's actually used to be the boss monster or the, the main monster, I should say, of one of the best decks of, I want to say, two, three years ago. So really nice to have that easy access. Cyber Dragon, a free special summon as long as you control uh, for only your opponent, opponent controls a monster, so it's very nice to have. Uh, Call of the Haunted. Cost Down, very nice. Thousand Knives. White Ninja. Draining Shield. No Entry. Trade In. Sword Stalker. Ojama Yellow. We have Dark Magician, very cool, especially with the alternative artwork. Uh, Rabbit Dragon. La Jin. Giant Soldier of Stone and Queen's Knight. And that's going to be it. So we are Player X. Very, very cool, guys. Honestly, I think that these type of um, these type of products for especially uh, anything that Konami is trying to do, whatever might have you, are really, really fun. I think there are a lot of... Uh, it brings a lot of engagement to the, to the overall game. It brings a lot of excitement. I think it brings a lot of, of course, brand new players, which is essentially what this is meant to do, right? It's meant for you to share with uh, those individuals who want to understand how to play the game, who want to... Try Truly understand the basics of it and if you guys want i can go ahead and try to put a more of a tutorial based videos on the channel so you guys can go ahead and show your friends if you guys ever want to uh have them understand how the game works we can go through the uh, actual uh duel that we have here as well if you guys want to go ahead and see that but i would highly recommend go ahead and support your local ots shops go ahead and pick up a copy for yourself and your friend and really just understand how the game works after the first game just go ahead and keep on going and really understand again the ins and outs of not just strategy again don't focus on strategy just yet if you're just starting out really just focus on understanding the cards knowing how to read the card knowing um more or less how the overall game works understand the rules first and then you can go ahead and discuss strategy guys so if you guys want to see a little bit more like an introduction to Yu-Gi-Oh videos where i can go ahead and break it down in more little bits and pieces i don't want to make a whole tutorial on how to play because that would be that would take hours and hours and hours but if i can go ahead and digest it down for you guys i'll definitely go ahead and will so just let me know if that's something you guys are interested in or if you guys want to go ahead and leave it as a one-off let me know in the comment section down below but i really hope you guys did enjoy guys uh this is a lot of fun like i said i really enjoyed having the ability to teach someone how to play now i just gotta find someone who wants to learn how to play <laughs> so if you want to learn how to play hit me up in the comments but without further ado guys hope you guys did enjoy i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see y'all in the next one